Hey, welcome back to another episode of Cheapskate Garage. Today I'm going to be changing out the uh, front steering on the go-kart. And uh, I'm going to put in a rack and pinion system that I got off of uh, eBay for cheap. I think it was like $86 or something. But it's going to require a bunch of modifications, so stay tuned. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So, right now, in here I got just a regular standard bearing. There's no hub. I got to cut this off whatever you want to call that on the internet eBay they call it something different than what I know it as and these right here they're off at an angle so if I were to try to put them in there it can or the wheel like that and then the camera would be all screwed up so I'm gonna cut this off right through here this off right through here come back with a grinder flatten it all out across there pull this out cut it off and then weld this to this and my biggest question was can I weld this to this well I think I can because obviously the Chinese that I bought these from welded the kingpin in there already or not the kingpin the spindle but uh I think it's doable So here we have a decision to make. It goes in there like that. This got to go in there like that somehow. I can flatten it out down here. I could also trim a little bit off of here. But if I rotate this all together, it's about how much it's got to turn. I think it'll work. 
I wonder if the uh, brake caliper is going to get in the way. coming down like that. I got the wrong side. So this is going to be in there like that. And like that. I believe this mounts to like this. I think I got plenty of clearance. I'll have to take this and maybe take this and flip it over so it's out of the way. It'll come out like that and that'll be just fine. But I think I got plenty of clearance to weld it how I want to weld it. Let's go make some mods. So I made a couple marks here. You can see those marks. The idea is to trim this off and that off so that way it fits uh, the same width and it'll fit in there with the bolt. It's all done. take a moment and ask everybody a question does your wife like it when you put the monkey butt powder down the front or does she just prefer it natural el natural post it down there in the comments I want to know your answer and while you're at it like and subscribe so there's only about three things here that I care about <clears throat> it's one this right here stays level with the table two this edge stays even with this edge and that when I weld this all together this arm right here is 90 degrees with this arm if I weld it like that I'm gonna have some janky steering going on and I won't be able to get full steer one way or the other so it's got to stay 90 degrees and uh, here we go well I got both of these welded up I checked fitment on both both fit just fine uh, they're gonna work. I don't have a doubt about it But I want to remind you that before you go full John Wayne on welding these You want to put like an extra tack here and an extra tack here. I can't tell you how many times I've welded something and uh, had a couple tacks and uh, all of a sudden the part moved and uh, It's no longer the way I wanted it and then I had to cut everything apart and redo it all again and That's just a waste of time. So here we go
too bad. It's going to work just fine for a go-kart. The uh, Thermal Arc 211 does a pretty good job for being at home. You can run off of 220 or 110. So I'm going to go ahead and let these cool. Put them in. And I think I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to go ask my wife the answer to the uh, question earlier and see what she says. So we got it all mocked up in there. Here's the hub. We're missing the brake caliper, obviously. Actually, we don't have to be. But now we have front disc brakes and everybody knows what 70 80 65 percent of your stopping power comes from the front brakes so this thing is going to be a riot I wonder if it'll do a brake stand probably well there's part one thanks for watching guys uh we're going to be at it again some more uh with the uh, rack and pinion and getting rid of all that and installing this so that'll be fun yeah this was was not expensive at all uh, I don't know how long it'll hold up for but I aim to find out I think I'm gonna have to build some extensions off of here bring it lighter but we'll find out thanks for watching see you next time